to another episode from Miss Glam on the Glam Girl Reach channel. I am so excited that you decided to tune in today. I thought today would be a great day for us to sing a morning song with an instrument. Do you have a musical instrument at home? Well, if you don't, you can always get a plastic bowl and a marker to make a drum. You can always get a water bottle and put some beans inside of it or some rice to make a maraca. You can always get two shoes and bang them together like cymbals. Can you go get something to make a musical instrument? Push pause while I wait. Are you back? Do you have your musical instrument? Well, we're going to sing a good morning song. And if it's not morning, good afternoon. And if it's not afternoon, it happens to be the evening, good evening. And if you're preparing for bed, good night. Can I see your musical instrument? Where's your musical instrument? Oh, there it is. How wonderful of you to join in. How about for today, I sing and you can play your instrument. This is a very popular song in preschool and kindergarten. So if you happen to know the lyrics, Sing along. One, two, one, two, three. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Our day is beginning. There's so much to do. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you, 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 and you. Good morning again. I have a very exciting book to share with you. What do you think this story is going to be about? Can you guess? Can you take a close look? And it's called, Who Lives in Trees? Do you have any idea? about something, a creature that lives in trees? What lives in trees? Yes. Can you name one more thing that lives in trees? Well, guess what? You're right, that does live in trees. I have a surprise for you today. Take a closer look. It's something that we usually see in trees. And there's an animal that creates this, and the animal actually lives in a tree. Can you guess? Can you guess what animal lives in this? Do you know what this is called? Did you say nest? You are correct. It's a nest. What do you think the animal that lives in this nest did to create it? Do you think he gathered a bunch of leaves together? No, I don't think so either. Do you think he gathered lots of sticks and twigs to create this? I think so too. What part of his body do you think he used to create this nest? Do you think he used his feet to create the nest? Or do you think he mainly used his beak? Well, hopefully after this video, you can go find another video on how a nest is created by birds. <gasps> Moving on, who lives in trees? Let's find out what other creatures lives in trees. And this book was written by Trish Holland, who lives in trees trees. There's a repeated phrase in this book. So maybe when you catch on, you can say it along with me. Who? Who? Who lives in trees? With wings, I can fly to my nest way up high. I am an owl. I live in this tree. Who, who, who lives in this tree? 
with strong tail and arms, I can swing all day long. I am a monkey and I live in this tree. Did you catch on to the phrase yet? Can you say it along with me? <gasps> who, who, who lives in this tree? With sticky little toes, I can cling upside down. I am a tree frog. I live in this tree. Who, who, who lives in this tree? With long tail and claws, I can climb anytime. I am an anteater. I live in this tree. <gasps> who, who, who lives in this tree? With skin stretched like wings, I can glide side to side. I am a flying dragon. I live in this tree. Can you stretch your arms out and fly like the flying dragon? Wow, that's great flying. I didn't expect it to be that great. Good flying. Who, who, who lives in this tree? With wings I can fly to my big buzzing hive. I am a bee, I live in this tree. Who, who, who lives in this tree? I scrape out a den, but it smells just a bit. I am a skunk. I live in this tree. Who, who, who lives in this tree? With strong grip and claws, I can hold on with my paws. I am a koala. I live in this tree. Can you say it with me? What's the phrase I'm going to say? You've got it. Who, who, who lives in this tree? With wings, I can flit to a banquet on a branch. I am a ladybug. I live in this tree. Who, who, who lives in this tree? With sharp, tiny claws, I can run just for fun. I am a squirrel, and I live in this tree. Who, who, who lives in this tree? With wings, I can flutter from my comfortable cocoon. I am a butterfly, I live in this tree. Can you flutter like a butterfly? Go ahead, flutter like a butterfly. Quick, go quick. Good job. I hope I didn't tire you out. Good fluttering. Who, who, who lives in this tree? Hooks and claws on my feet help me walk on my web. I am a spider. lives in this tree. With humming wings, I dart to my babies in my nest. I am a hummingbird. I live in this tree. Who, who, who lives in this tree? With my muscles, I can climb. Then I make a cozy coil. I am a tree snake and I live in this tree. Good job. Who, who, who lives in this tree? I fly to my nest. My dead tree is the best. I am a woodpecker. I live in this tree. Who, who, who lives in this tree? Can you guess who lives in this tree? Hmm. This animal is a CVC word. It's a consonant, vowel, and a consonant. 
It begins with the letter B. Can you make the B sound? Did you say bat? Good job. Who, who, who lives in this tree? With wings I fly up, then I hang with my head down. I am a bat. I live in this tree. Who, who, who lives in this tree? With eggs in my nest, I sit warm in my nook. I am a bluebird and I live in this tree. Do you think the bluebird has a nest inside of that tree hole? I think he does too. Who, who, who lives in this tree? With claws, I dig tunnels. Tree roots are my roof. I am a wombat. I live in this tree. Who, who, who lives in this tree? No claws and no wings. Our feet aren't sticky things. We are just kids. We play in this tree. Free. Looks like they're having lots of fun. What is good for trees? Some things that are good for trees is sunlight, soil, and rain. Things that are bad for trees are drought, a forest wildfire, and pests and diseases. Who? Who? Who needs trees, animals, insects, birds? You and I do. That too. The end. And when the story's over and when we reach the end, we live happily ever after in the land of make for ten. Bom, bom, bubbly, bop. And when the story's over and when we reach the end, if you think you like the story and you want to read it again, just hit like, subscribe, and right before your eyes, you can watch it over again and again. Very good. We definitely need trees, and I don't know if you've noticed or not, but trees are tremendously changing right before our eyes. Are you noticing that some trees that used to be green are changing other colors? What colors are they changing? Orange? Red? What else? Brown? Oh, and yellow. You did an awesome job. I want you to remember there's many animals that live in trees and there's so many creatures that need trees like animals, insects, you, and me. Until next time, keep watching those trees and enjoy the nice fall weather. So long!